Hello everybody, today we're taking a look at Unit 1, Solving Systems of Linear Equations Using Graphing. Um, our learning objective here is I can set up and solve a system of linear equations using graphing, substitution, and elimination methods given real-world situations. Now in this example, we're going to be specifically working on how to solve using graphing and not substitution and elimination. Alright, so let's take a look at our example here. Um, so this is about two students getting um, some snacks from a vending machine. So two students go to a vending machine and get Skittles and crackers for their friends. Kyle gets three packs of Skittles and two bags of crackers for $7.25. Leo gets two packs of Skittles and four bags of crackers for $9.50. Use variables to set up a system of linear equations and figure out the individual cost of each snack. So we want to figure out how much one pack of Skittles and one package of crackers is in this situation. And we are given these two orders. All right, so first thing we need to set up our variables. We are trying to solve for the cost of a bag of Skittles and the cost for a bag of crackers. So those are gonna be our two variables. We're gonna use the letter S to represent the cost of Skittles. And the variable C is going to be our cost of our crackers, okay? So those are the two variables that we're gonna use to set up these equations. And hopefully we are going to solve for um, the cost of one package of Skittles and the cost of one package of crackers. You notice in the equation, it doesn't tell us what each one costs individually. What we need to do is look at each of these orders, these um, Kyle's and Leo's, um, set up two equations and graph them in the coordinate plane and fi find out where that intersection point is and that will be our solution. All right, so I'm gonna set up Kyle's order here, and this might be a little bit silly, but I hope it helps maybe um, visually show Kyle's order. So Kyle's order, if you read the problem again, he gets three packs of Skittles and two bags of crackers for $7.25. So I just put three Skittles here um, to represent the three packages of Skittles and two goldfish crackers to represent the two packages of crackers. So um, to set up an equation for this, uh, to represent his order, I would use the number three times our variable S. So we have three bags of Skittles. We don't know the cost yet. Plus we have two bags of crackers and we know that that had a total of seven dollars and 25 cents all right so that's how you would set up kyle's order you have three times the cost of skittles plus two times the cost of crackers and he had to pay seven dollars and 25 cents for that order all right now let's set up leo's order leo had two packs of Skittles. So here's our two packs of Skittles here and four bags of crackers. So let's do four little animal, little fish crackers there. Um, and let's set up that equation. So we have two times your cost of your Skittles plus four times your cost of your crackers that was equal to a total of $9.50. All right. So now we have two equations, both written in standard form. Notice we have a number times a variable plus another number times our variable equals another number. This is your standard form. Um, and we have been learning how to graph things in standard form. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two equations over to a graph and figure out where they intersect 
and check if that is our solution. All right, so to graph in standard form, we have learned that you make an X and a Y table, kind of like that. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to find your X and Y intercepts. So to find your X intercept, oh, I completely messed up. This is not X and Y anymore. This is going to be S and C. There we go. S and C. Sorry about that. For Skittles and crackers. So, um, so to find your intercept on your C axis, and in this case, it doesn't really matter which axis is Skittles and which one's crackers. So in this case, we're just going to do Skittles down here. This will be S and crackers here. Oh, can't spell. See there. Okay, so if we plug in zero dollars for our cost of the crackers, let's figure out how much Skittles would cost to fulfill this order. So if we have a zero here, two times zero, zero. So we just need three times S is equal to 725. So as we've done before, we go $7.25 divided by our three and 2.41, let's round that up to two. So two, um, 2.42, all right. And now let's find our um, intercept on the crackers axis. So let's plug in a zero for S and figure out what C needs to be. So if we have a zero in for S, then we'll just be left with two times C equals 725. So like we did before, we go 725 divided by two. That is 3.625. And I like that decimal. We'll just leave it like that, 3.625. 3.625. So these are two points on the graph. Now, we need to start labeling our axes here. Um, and let's go every two lines will be a dollar. So we have zero. We'll have one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, six dollars. And we'll do the same going up this axis here. One, um, two, three, four, um, five, and six. All right. Um, so let's plot these two points here. So on the Skittles axis, we have a $2.42. So $2 and kind of close to 50. That's going to be that point right there. Um, and on the C axis, we're going to be $3.625. So these are just kind of rough estimations of where these points are, but they're close enough. And then whenever we find your intercepts there, we are going to draw our line. And there we go. All right, so that finishes off Kyle's order for us. Now we need to move on to Leo's order. So Leo's order, again, he had two bags of Skittles plus four bags of crackers for $9.50. So again, let's do our Skittles and our crackers. Um, we need a zero for crackers, figure out our Skittles intercept. So if we have a zero for C here, this goes away. And we know that two times S is equal to $9.50. So let's go here, $9.50 divided by two will give us a 475, 4.75, all right. Um, and now let's find our other intercept. We're gonna plug in a zero for Skittles. Um, so two times zero becomes zero. 
and 4 times C equals 950. So like before, we go 950 divided by 4, 2.375. 2.375. All right, now let's plot these two points. So for Leo's order, on the Skittles axis, $4.75. Uh, for 50, there's 475 right there. And zero, 2.375. So up here, 2.375. All right, there we go. So these two points, we're gonna connect with a straight edge here. Definitely should have grabbed a ruler, but that's fine. Any straight edge will work. And there we go. So there are our two orders, um, the equations and the graphs. Now, the solution to this, so the question still is, how much does one bag of Skittles cost and one bag of crackers cost? So as we've learned, the solution is going to be the intersection point of the two lines. That is the point on both of these, that both situations, both orders, it's gonna be true. Um, and so we know that that has to be the cost of Skittles and the cost of the crackers. Now in this case, uh, if I had to estimate, because these graphs aren't, Perfect, of course. That looks like for a bag of Skittles, a little bit over a dollar, maybe a dollar and twenty cents or so. Dollar, that's a dollar fifty, so maybe it's a dollar twenty-five. Um, so just kind of an estimate, I would say a dollar and twenty-five. Um, let's just put down here a dollar twenty-five is kind of an estimate there. And let's go across here. This looks like one dollar, dollar fifty. That looks like a dollar seventy-five. All right. So that looks like the ordered pair for me. This would be our Skittles. This would be our crackers. Okay. Um. Now, how do we check our solution um, and see if we're actually correct? I'm gonna do it. Um, first, I'm going to show you on Desmos how we can actually graph this and find the true intersection. Where here we were just kind of estimating. So I'm going to get the computer real quick, and move this, and slide this into place like so. All right, so we're on Desmos here. As you can see, I've already typed in the two equations. So this was Kyle's order here, the red line. So 3x plus 2y equals 725. Desmos, you have to use x and y um, instead of our variables s and c, um, but same thing. So this was his line that we graphed there. And then this was Leo's order here, 2x plus 4y equals 950. And that line went like this. Um, so very similar to our graph, but what's nice about Desmos here, I can hover right over that point of intersection and notice what happens there. See the 1.25, 1.75. That is the solution to our system of equations. So I was correct in my estimate before that the Skittles cost a dollar and 25 cents and the crackers cost a dollar and 75 cents. All right, so let's go back to our page. And we're actually gonna check our solution uh, manually down here. So to actually check the solution properly, we need to plug in our solution to the equation and make sure that we get the right cost. So for Kyle's order, remember he had three bags of Skittles which costs $1.25 plus two bags of crackers, which cost $1.75. We're gonna see if that equals $7.25. So let's go to the calculator here. Three times 1.25 plus two times 1.75 and $7.25. So 
So that is good. So that checks out. Um, and then let's check Leo's order. Two bags of Skittles, which costs 125, plus four bags of crackers, which is 175. And let's check that order. Two times 1.25 plus four times 1.75. And there it is, $9.50. $9.50, exactly what he paid. Um, so that is the way to mathematically check your solution. Um, and we also confirmed that that intersection point there um, was the same on Desmos. Um, and so there's your solution. And I'm going to eat some Skittles. Goodbye.